What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Keelan and today we're going to talk about failure. So I don't even really know how to go about starting this video. Um, so I'm just going to start it this way. I failed. All the Queen's Renegades did not release on November 30th, as you are probably well aware. Uh, it's past November 30th and the book is not out. I wanted to make this video not necessarily, or not necessarily, not at all. I don't want to make any excuses. Like ultimately what it comes down to is I didn't have the book ready on time and that failure is 100% on me. And it's not something I want to fail at. It's not something that I want to do again. It's not something that I want to repeat because I know um, that I've disappointed readers and that I've disappointed people who are eager for this book to come out. And that's not fair. All I really have to say on that, I suppose, is like, I am so deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, I just, yeah, I'm sorry. I, the book should have been out and it not being out is on me. I did want to make this video just to talk about failure a little bit because, yeah, it's, it's something that I suppose just happened to me. So like, why not talk about it? Ultimately, in the case of all the Queen's Renegades, what it came down to was, while there is a finished book, it is not finished to the state at which I would be proud publishing it. I am more proud of this book than any other book I've written because I have struggled so much with it, but it's still not there. All the King's Traders, and I mean, I've got it like right here. All the King's Traders, I am <laughs> like so incredibly proud of the final outcome. Like I think it can stand next to a traditionally published book and hold its own. Like I am that confident in this book. That's not to say that it can't be improved or that there's not things that I like, like I definitely messed up on things in this book. I'm not, I'm not trying to come out here and say this is the best book ever. Ultimately with All the King's Traders, I'm really proud of the final outcome of this book. And ultimately I think it can stand up next to an epic fantasy book and hold its own. With All the Queen's Renegades, I am proud of it because I did overcome a lot of stuff with it. It was just really difficult, but it's not there yet. Like ultimately that's what it comes down to. It's not there yet. And whose fault is that? Obviously it's my fault. Like I haven't spent enough time on it. I didn't allocate enough time to it. Like it's just not there yet. And I missed the deadline, but I would not be proud putting it out in the current state that it's in. I want to do more edits. I want to make sure to incorporate time to have sensitivity readers go through it. I want to do a lot of things with it that I should have done over the past several months, but I just didn't. And I'm not here to make excuses, I just didn't. So it's at a point where it is not in the same state. Like, I don't think, while I'm very proud of this story because I think it's a really good story, I just don't think it stands up next to All the King's Traders. I think All the King's Traders is done very well. And while I think the story and the plot is much more exciting in book two, it's just not there yet. And I didn't want to put out something that's not there yet. So I failed to meet kind of the ultimate deadline when it comes to writing, which is the publishing deadline. And that's really disappointing. Like I'm disappointed in myself. I'm angry at myself too, because I feel like I've disappointed lots of people, people who pre-ordered the book, and that's not okay. Obviously, the book didn't come out on November 30th, and like, I could just not talk about it again, but I'm going to be making videos about me going through all the Queen's Renegades, because I really want to get to the root of like, why do I think this book is not there yet? Like, what is it that's missing? So. I'm going to be making videos about it. You're going to hear me talk about it. And I, like, I don't just want to push this aside. You know what I mean? Like I failed. I fucked up. I didn't, I didn't get it out on time. Like, um, so I don't want to just push it aside. That being said, I also am not going to be like super hard on myself forever about it because I don't think that that's productive. 
I think we can learn from our failures without being extremely hard on ourselves. So yes, I failed. Um, the book didn't come out on time, but I learned. And is anything that you learn from really a failure? I don't know. Maybe it's just growth. So I'm going to take that approach um, when looking at it. Like, I don't really know what I wanted to say with this video. I, all I know is I really wanted to address the fact that all the Queen's Renegades is not coming out because I don't want to not talk about it. Like, you have questions about like why I came to this decision or questions about, I don't know, just what it's like to, to not put a book out on time. Like, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I can answer that question right now. It doesn't feel good, it really doesn't feel good. I thought I'd come on here, just have a really like frank, candid conversation. I know I should have done this video earlier when I announced that the book wouldn't be coming out, but I think I just needed a few days. But yeah, ultimately, I am the one who is accountable for this failure. Uh, I still plan on having it out soon because I still plan on having the third book out on March 23rd, 2021, um, which is my birthday. And so it has to come out before then, obviously. And to anybody thinking that that's weird that you're like confident in the third book, I'm having much less trouble. And I've had much less trouble with the third book than I have with the second book. I knew, I've known how I wanted this trilogy to end from the very beginning. So I, maybe it's just like the middle. I struggle with the middle. Anyway, I, I have to sneeze. Sorry, I'm very sneezy lately. Anyway, I failed and I don't feel good about it. And I'm really, truly, deeply sorry to everybody who was waiting for all the Queen's Renegades because I know there were people who were waiting for all the Queen's Renegades and just like I'm so so sorry to anybody who is waiting for all the Queen's Renegades and did put in a pre-order or you know what I'm not gonna check even if you didn't put in a pre-order feel free to send me an email at keelanrivers at gmail.com it's linked down in the description box below and I'm going to be sending out little um printouts of the map by mail to anybody who uh, pre-ordered all the Queen's Renegades just as a thank you for pre-ordering. Everybody should have their money back by now. It's all been canceled on Amazon and all those things so everybody should have their 99 cents back. Uh, but as a thank you, um, just send me an email if you want one. I'm, I'm also, I'm not going to check for proof of pre-order. So if you want one, just send me an email. I'll get the big version of it. Just one second. I'll get the big version. You'll get a nice little, a little one uh, print out of these. I'm even thinking of just making postcards and sending postcards that have the map on it. So you'll either get a printout or like a postcard with the map on it. Um, just as a thank you, because I... Like, I so appreciate everybody. Like, I just want everybody to know how much I appreciate people who have supported my writing journey, whether it be through, you know, buying my books or following my YouTube videos. I know I haven't been on the ball with YouTube videos lately. I'm sorry. That's another thing I've been failing at. This is a theme. I feel like I'm behind on everything right now. And I'm so, 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 so sorry. And I'm going to get back on track. I promise. But uh, just as a thank you. So if you want one, send me an email at keelanrivers at gmail.com. And I will be sending those out globally wherever you are in the world. So just send me an email and I'll get your address and I'll send you a little postcard with the map or a little printout of the map as a thank you because I really, really appreciate it. And I, yeah, I just can't say I'm sorry enough times. I really can't because I'm sorry. And it, it really feels not good. So not to make it about me, but it feels not good. So I, yeah, I'm really sorry. Anyway, this was my spiel. We're going to be moving on from this failure. You're going to hear me talk about all the Queen's Renegades and videos because I'm going back into it and I'm just, I need to figure out like something's not working. I just don't think, like I said, I just don't think it's at the same caliber as all the King's Traders. And I don't know why, because I think the writing's good. I think the plot's good. I just, I, I can't put my finger on it. And ultimately I think it comes down to the fact that I just haven't spent enough time on it. Like I just haven't spent enough time on it. And so, like I said, that's on me and I'm sorry. And here's to hopefully more videos uh, 
coming soon and hopefully more videos where there's some progress made on all the Queen's Renegades and it gets closer to publication. I'm really hoping that it can come out, like I said, in fairly short order so that book three can also come out on the day that I'm hoping that it comes out because I want there to be at least like, I don't know, a month between the releases. So no scheduled release date yet. I'm not making any promises because, well, we see how, well, we saw how this one turned out. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. I know this was super rambly. I appreciate you listening to it. And to anybody else who has failed at something, like just know that failure is part of life and don't be too hard on yourself. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself and, and it's the only way we can grow. So yeah, that's my really rambly video about all the Queen's Renegades. And I just, yeah, I want to let you know again that I appreciate every single person who takes the time to watch these videos and every single person who has uh, supported me in this writing journey because it's a journey that I love being on and I love being on it even more with all of you. So thank you and talk to you later. Thank you.